And now it's my honor to welcome Martin Lesh Olnik, who is the president of the Global Speakers Federation. Now Martin is an international inspirational speaker, an expert on self-esteem, serenity, motivation, engagement, and inner peace. He has spoken to audiences in four continents. His unique path combines decades of entrepreneurial experience with studies of economics and Buddhist philosophy with Tibetan monk scholars in India and personal development and energy psychology in the US. Over to you, Martin. We are waiting to listen to you. A very good morning to everyone and our other beauties. It's an absolute pleasure to be your opening speaker this for these amazing two days. And I'm really happy, thank you Kish for your words, and also to see the importance that uh, professional speaking has in this country. Because I think professional speakers are at the forefront of knowledge, of new innovation, bringing them into the country, bringing them into the corporate world, and also into society. And as a veteran in this business for almost 20 years, working with schools, with businesses, we see that the development of our youth is the, the absolute crucial point uh, to bring our countries forward, to bring our societies forward, to make us live better and happier in peace together. And so, without much further ado, I want to share a few points on the history of the Global Speakers Federation, how all this came together. And can we have the slides up, please? Thank you. So, the Global Speakers Federation, and the clicker is not working. Okay, next slide please. It was founded in 1973 uh, by this gentleman on the screen. His name is Kevin Robert. And usually you would assume that professional speaking is something that is a very lonely business because if I get booked for an event, then Siva won't get booked, or Kish won't get booked. And if they get booked, I won't get booked. So why should we want to help each other? Well, it's simply because, you know, the enemy of a good speaker is a bad speaker. <laughs> because if a, if a corporation books a speaker one, one year for a conference, and they are not that good, then they go like, hmm. We tried the speaking thing once, uh, let's, let's have a journey or a magician next year again. So that's the purpose of us coming together. And as Kevin Robert beautifully called it, let's make the pie bigger. Let's not fight who gets the bigger piece of the pie, but let's come together, collaborate, and let's make the pie bigger. And he also said one thing that is actually my motto for my year of presidency, my year of service to the global speaking community. Next slide, please. He said, there's nothing that can't be achieved when the right people are swept up in a worthy cause, divorced from who gets credit for what. And I think this is, this is so the, the most important thing, divorced from who gets credit for what. That is when we as professional speakers come together, we share together, we contribute. Everybody brings an idea to the table and everybody walks away with way more than they actually brought in. That's the power of collaboration. That's the power of community. And you, as esteemed members of the Malaysian Association for Professional Speakers, one of the oldest, by the way, uh, are not only within your own community, but you're connected to a community of 17 associations worldwide. And Kevin Robert founded the NSA in the United States, 1973. If you quickly do the math, 2023, right, 50th anniversary half a century of professional speaking associations around the globe. So, and if any one of you intends ever to go to a, a National Speakers Association convention, I recommend this year, I believe they will pull out all the stops to create an absolutely fascinating event. Next slide, please. Let's see. That's not working. Okay, good. Thank you. So this beautiful gentleman on the slide is in 1989, Warren Evans, one of the, the icons of this industry. industry. Um, he was actually not that tall. 
but he was a bundle of energy, of joy, of warmth, of heart. Uh, whoever met him in his days were, couldn't be anything else but utterly impressed. A, a gracious, gracious person uh, ever to walk the planet. And he, the, he was from Canada. He said, okay, well, NSA has this thing, an association. Let's take this, make it bigger. Let's take it out. And next slide, please. Uh, so he, he brought together the first four associations in the world. The NSA, the National Speakers Association of the US, Professional Speakers Australia, New Zealand, and the Canadian Association of Professional Speakers to form what a body that was called at that time, next please, uh, the IFFPS, the International Federation for Professional Speakers. Now that's a mouthful, and I'm not a native speaker of English, so by the time I finally learned how to pronounce that, then it was changed. And I just learned it. Next one. So they, they moved it over and called it GSF, the Global Speakers Federation. And it was due to these two gentlemen, Joe Sharon and W. Mitchell, also some icons of our industry, who did that in 2007, 2009, the changeover was made. And out of this, those four initial associations, next slide, please. Uh, the, the four is working now? Super. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we have here the, the four initial associations, and out of this, That's the button. Okay, good. <laughs> 17, a network of 17 associations has emerged. And uh, sorry to John and Lindsay for uh, put VSAI in the middle of the ocean. So it's <laughs> the, the Virtual Speakers Association. Because there's certain criteria to become an asso association, and there is at least 40 professional members. And there are countries where there are professional speakers, but they don't have enough members yet to become an association on their own. So the virtual association is taking care of them. And with absolute icons of our industry, Jonathan Lau, CSP, Global Speaking Fellow, and Lindsay Adams, uh, CSP, and here in the room, they have become, they have stepped up after leading their own associations, after leading the Global Speakers Federation. They have stepped up to take on the leadership for the virtual association to be a hub for more associations, for more professional connection happening around the world. So this is true servant leadership, and I applaud you both, gentlemen. So at the heart of the Global Speaking Federation, now spanning 70 associations and more than 30 countries, uh, is the Global Speakers Federation. And if you now think, oh, this is a really cool thing, how can I become a member? Sorry, I have to disappoint you. You cannot. You would have to become an association to become a member of the Federation. The Federation actually only has 70 members, the associations. But through your membership in this association, you not only get connection to a network of, of like-minded peers who know what it means to stand on the stage, to work this business professionally, and actually that it can be really cool to be standing on the stage for which 99.9% of the population will think you're absolutely nuts. You are also not only connected in your own country, but you're connected to this global community of speakers. So as a benefit of that, you can attend any association meeting around the world at membership price in that country. So this is an absolute, and I absolutely encourage you to take use of this, and make use of this. Uh, I've learned so much, 90% of what I know about keynote speaking and hof hopefully also sometimes display, I've learned from the colleagues around the world. I've attended about 50 conventions this far in the last 20 years close. Uh, and it's always been an absolute experience and I've always taken at least one or, or two things, big things away. There are always lots of small benefits that you take away, but there are always some big things that help you improve your craft and your impact for your business, but also what I especially appreciate here also to hear the impact for society. This is absolutely, absolutely critical. And we need to be at the forefront of this, is my opinion. We all making help make the world better, whether we do sales or presentation skills or negotiation or self-esteem and personal development. We are helping make the world a better place. 
and we need to do that. And that's why it's so important that we come together in this ethical framework that we are supportive, we're positive, we're positively reinforcing what's, what's going on in the world and not thinking about our own benefit first. So, just a little, um, for in closing, this is my beautiful team that I had the honor to work with, my immediate past president, Steve Lowell, who preceded me, Charlotte Kemp from South Africa, futurist, absolute brilliant thinker, uh, who will follow me. Ruby Newleg of CSP from the United States as the vice president, she will be president in two years, and the person without whom nothing would work, Sherry Briggs, our executive director, who is keeping all this together and makes sure that everything runs smoothly. And believe me, with all possible time zones on the planet, that's sometimes a hard thing to pull off. And lastly, who knows what that is? Pi, exactly. We've been talking about a pie recently, and next slide, please. So, 3.14 is pie. Well, if you develop that into the American spelling of dates, next one, will result in March 14th, 3.14. And so, the Global Speakers Federation has passed a resolution last year to declare the 14th of March the and one more, Professional Speakers Celebration Day. We already had it this year, and we've reached more than one million people around the world that we could track, plus all the hashtags that were translated in other languages that we didn't, weren't able to track. So more than one million people, we made aware that there is a thing like professional speaking, and that is of value and of benefit to the planet. And I hope that for the next year, we'll continue to celebrate this and make it an even bigger thing and bigger impact because, as the theme for this convention says, we want to accelerate the development on the planet, the beauty of the planet, the connection on the planet. So, I'm calling on to you, join me in accelerating this planet for the greater good of all. Thank you.